How are we doing today, everybody? I am back yet with just another video for you on this beautiful Friday. I hope everybody's having a great day in this beautiful country we live in. Um, today we got kind of something new, right, Jordan? Yeah. Uh, it's um, a product install video. A product install video. Um, it's going to be DD26's Live Foot. It is their newest, latest, and greatest. I guess it's not brand new. He's been out for a while, but um, kind of story behind this thing. Um, I talked to Dave. Dave talked to me a couple times about this. Dave sends me one and says, let's get a like a brand battle against everybody else's. So I'm like, all right. So I email the competitors and whatever. I say, hey, I do YouTube videos. I want to do, I got a guy that wants to do a brand battle, his stuff versus your stuff. What do you think? Went through three brands. You know how many brands sent me their product to go against Dave's? Nobody, zero. So Dave, I'm sorry, I can't give you a brand battle because no one wants to, I guess, brand battle against your equipment. How's that sound? So. This time we just did an install video, so I don't know if Dave had an install video, but we got it on, um, got it installed, went through it, and uh, hope you're gonna enjoy it. It's gonna go right now. Here we go. What are you doing today? We are installing, let me get the box. Should we get the box? Let's get the box. So here's the story on what's going on here. So Dave and I talked, because he came out with this fine product, his live foot, um, and uh, we talked and I was like, well, why don't why don't we just do a comparison video, you know? Have everybody send me one, we'll do a comparison video and we'll pick the best one out of what they are, right? So that's Dave's right there. Can you see that, George? Yeah. That's Dave's right there. I think he's got a video out on it too, but. And uh, so I did that. I got his, he sent me his. Uh, I reached out to, I think three other, I think it was three other brands those brands, if they responded back to me, they said they weren't interested in sending one of their products over for a comparison video, or they never responded at all. So Dave's been very kind. Um, he sent his here. And so now I'm gonna do an install video for him since he sent this to me, and we're gonna go from there. So we just redid this boat, this carpeting, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get him a hell of an install video on what this product is, so that's what you're gonna be able to watch today. And hopefully you'll be able to go over to DD26, contact Dave, see all of his new stuff, see everything he makes that's made right here in the US, and get yourself a live foot. All right, you ready? Right away, opening up the box, taking it out. I mean, even packaging, packaging is outstanding. Everything's labeled, the bags are labeled, of what brand, because the nice thing about Dave's is it's universal. So it works with the uh, Minn Kota, it works with the Garmin, it works with the Lowrance trolling motors, it works with every brand, um, and the same with the units also. So it comes ready for all three. It's a universal mount, it's a universal bracket that everything just works together. Um, it's, I think it's the only one in the industry as is. You don't have to order it specific, you just order the live foot. This? Yeah. I, I mean, I probably can handle it. You sure? I'm pretty much sure. Call me if you need me, let's let me know. I think the part that almost everybody forgets is everybody that's here working on marine stuff, like the marine side of things. Yeah. I probably caught a lot of people here. <laughs> Good high probability of that right. happening. Yeah, I didn't teach that no, though. Yeah, no. Camera's rolling. Right. I didn't teach I didn't teach that. That need, comes need a bigger hammer. That comes from yeah. You gotta get these over here. This is gonna be crucial. This right here is probably very crucial to what we're doing. See what this is? Instructions. I'm gonna move this giant thing out of the way because it's my new carpeting. Um, it says congratulations. In the box. Tools, wrench, wire strippers, la di da da We don't need to worry about that. Um, step one, motor assembly to trolling motor. Locate. The mounting bolts, the mounting plate, dee, 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 dee. okay, over here. So this should probably be a mounting plate, I'm thinking. Live foot mount, so, label, live foot mount. Pretty cool. And inside there, magically, our bags, our bolts that say Garmin, it's probably not what we're using, Lowrance, not what we're using, Minn Kota. Probably what we're using. It's pretty good stuff. 
And then you have that right there. That, I would say, is probably our mount. Perfect. Because that's what it says on it. Live foot mount. It's not plastic. It's not. It's all aluminum, powder coated, normal Dave quality at DD26. All right. Okay. So we need these right here. So now we need to locate, it says, mount. One, two, one, two, buckle my shoe, three, four. That's the door. So I think that's how you want to do it inside. Okay. Step two. Well, I, I saw some extra holes and I was like, well, why would we have extra holes? But then start to look at it more and put extra holes in here so you can still work function. You have to work on this and you don't have to take it all off. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. What say to do? Deploy the trolling motor if you can deploy it. So we deploy it. Uh, insert live foot through the end of the mounting bracket. Line the live foot up housing the points straight with the bow of your boat. Woogie. Okay. Live foot. Live foot. Live foot! I don't foresee this compressing down all the way on there. I'm trying to figure out what goes here. I bet you that goes there. The whole head goes there. That's exactly what happens to it. There's no way you're gonna fight that. I'm taking that out of there because I don't want to break it, A. And B, it's just as designed to hold the shaft in line with what's going on. So that way this can fit down on here nicely. Like that. And then this just goes right back in there. Right back into the threads. Just like that. The thing is this. Parallel with boat, it says. You want me to supply power to it now, 12 volt power, so we have to probably start to look at what we're going to do. Obviously we have 12 volt power down in here, so I'm going to redeploy this now. That way I can control it more. All right, so what we did here is we took this panel off of here, got inside the boat, got clean power from the battery up to the front so we could hook up the live foot, which I ran the wire down through here. It's now going down through here, which will be all cleaned up when we're all said and done. But basically we hooked 12 volt clean power to it and it asks now to energize. So we energize and you see that on my hand. Green is gold, ready to rock and roll. Um, then it asks to test, test the live foot. So. It does have this handheld, so I will test with the handheld. So, live foot is working, spinning, turning, doing its thing. So, yeah, that is that part's done, and I'll get this all cleaned up, get it reassembled. Then we're going to mount the foot switches that we have to calibrate and put them in, make sure that works, and we'll get it cleaned up, and we'll actually be able to install our transducer today. Ready, rock and roll. We're setting, we're setting up this uh, bottom mount on here, but we have to make sure that A is square to B, so that way we're not pointed away from the world. Okay, that'll be fun. And now we have, I've already mocked this up here. 
this little piece right here gets screwed onto here. Super, super nice what Dave did here. Um, comes with every possible. So this is a universal mount. This comes ready for Lowrance, Garmin, and Hummingbird. And uh, yeah, so it is literally ready to go. So this is the step that we're on right here. Installing that. Hip hop <laughs> Spectrum mode, standard mode. There it is. Look at it. It's starting to come together. Um, yeah. We're gonna finish up this and get this support bracket in. Make life happen. Checking over there, see what's going on. Going right here, right here, on right here. Looks good. We gotta make sure that lines up with that though. Okay, Jordan? Tell me about what you're doing again. Right now? Yeah. Right now I'm loosening these bolts right here so that way we can line that arrow with our transducer so we know what's going on. Where is my arrow, Jordan? What do I got to do, Goal? There is. Huh? This is straight you up want and down. This that way? Which way? Which way do you want me to turn? Yeah, keep this? going. Keep going. This way? Yep. That's my very unscientific. Approach. I mean, that's close. Yeah. Right there. I mean, it's like a, a arrow on a trolling motor. We're never right. But this one's really right when we're done. Put the dog bone on. This is Dave's dog bone, what he calls it, which it's really kind of cool what he did here. Um, I don't know that anybody anywhere is doing this, so it's just another first for the engineering and the quality of BD26 fishing. And you can see how that's built. It is not built by plastic it's not built by anything but metal um, this dog bones designed to support the two arms together and that's what we're going to do right now doesn't say this in the manual but this is an add-on feature that you have to buy specifically from dd26 to get this the dog bone i think everybody should have um, the dog bone does more than one thing it's basically takes those cables and holds them directly to the shaft and also allows the support for the live foot or your gimbal assembly, whatever you're gonna call these things. Um, it gives you that support, that stability, so they're not sitting there flexing and doing weird things while you're running down the river. Um, I know that was one of the biggest complaints about everybody else's is that it just, as you're doing all this crap while you're running down, you're getting rough water. Lord knows it's never a calm day, never. So it's just a huge product, and if you don't like the live foot and you have another brand, I would order a dog bone. Tell me about it. Uh, just setting the dog bone wedge here. Um, trying to make it so it's gonna be perfect. Be set the way we want it. When you see the functionality of what I'm putting on here versus not having this, um, it's just, I think it's just next level DD26. And... Well, for the, for the wires, it's just a matter of making it so everything is perfect when we're done. Um, and how this comes through here. It's got really nice slack, so we'll be able to boom, boom, boom. But we gotta make sure that it threads through there and has enough to spin, so. We gotta do some cutting here, and then we'll be okay. This is gonna be pretty plain and simple how this is gonna come across. Separate this couple, zip tie here, and should be good to go. Right now, we're just kind of I guess we're not kind of, we are setting the cables so that way this will spin all the way without wrapping cables and then this will spin all the way without wrapping cables obviously in spot lock kind of gets a mind of its own doing its thing you obviously don't want to 
break transducer cables. Wouldn't be as much of an issue without this dog bone, but this dog bone is such the deal because, I mean, the support that it gives, I mean, we're not even tight, and it just gives so much support. This live scope's, or this live sight's not bouncing like this, and this shaft doesn't, I mean, it just anchors everything together, so. And it's about making it neat, clean, finished, when it's all done, so. Get it all mounted, go to deploy, and then ding, light bulb goes off. He doesn't have a nine or a 10 up front, he has a 15 up front. So I had to lay that in there, saw and noticed that right away that we were gonna make contact and hit. So obviously just a slight adjustment. Another great advantage to Dave's product is it's just a simple loosen up adjustment, readjust it down on the bottom because it goes through calculations in the uh, manual how he wants it clocked to the boat. So you just have to re-clock that. Um, is super simple, easy, quick adjustment. So another nice feature of Dave's is it's simply adjusted by loosening up and that you can adjust the shaft length on the unit. So let's say you're fishing shallow versus running your propeller into your mega imaging or your live imaging or whatever imaging you got going on on this thing. You can literally loosen it quick, slide it up, slide your trolling motor up. If you're gonna bury your trolling motor, you can bury that live imaging or you can set the height on that too because you may have different prop washes that are coming off maybe you want it a little bit higher maybe you're skimming maybe you're there's so many options with dave product he hit every option when it came to it and that's another great thing about dave at dd26 and i know you guys hear me talk about him all the time but i'm flat out telling you he puts thought he puts effort he puts everything fishing and quality into one package when he does this stuff. Yeah, so if you guys like these style in or these like these style videos and you want to see more of them, definitely comment about it. Uh, kind of just to go at it with this thing. I didn't know what to do. It was like, well, let's just do an install video, make people see what's going on. Maybe there's people that have questions about these things. Definitely, you can reach out to Dave at DD26. Um, get out there, talk to him about that. Make a phone call. Check out Dave's stuff on his website. He has got major things going on. Lots of new things coming from Dave. Uh, check that out. Um, yeah, another thing is make sure you get to our shop portion. Is that correct? It's in the shop section of our web page. Um, get on our website at teammarineservice.com. Check out shop. If you're looking for used parts, we have a ton of used parts coming up that are going to be on there. If you need used parts, you're looking for used parts, you can comment that or send us an email at speedmoneynobreaks.com. And uh, you can get us there. Uh, also, check out the merch. Click on the merch, guys. There is a ton of new merch coming out. Uh, we got a whole new series coming out of merch. It's going to be like off the wall not necessarily team marine it's team marine stuff but it's kind of cool looking stuff we got a whole new section of that coming out uh got some more limited stuff coming out uh, you guys are rocking that patriot shirt that is awesome um we got more of that stuff coming so make sure you get on our web page make sure you check that out always make sure you're checking out our facebook page and our instagram and make sure that you're commenting and subscribing here on our youtube channel we appreciate you and we love our support and we're growing every day right jordan every day it's, you know what's cool to me, Jordan, is I'm able to see now with the merch, I get to see where this stuff is going. Like that, like last weekend, I was able just to scroll through and I'm seeing like this stuff going like all across the country. It's amazing. Texas and California, there was one that was shipped to. We just shipped a part to Hawaii the other day. Um, I know we sent some merch that direction also. Um, it is so cool for me to see this. And I mean, for me knowing it and not knowing that support that I have nationwide, it, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy for me to know that I'm sending merch across the country. It's just, it's the coolest thing in the world. It just makes me smile. So I appreciate all the support. I love it. Um, here at Team Marine, we're rocking. We got a lot to do and not enough time to get it done now. So that's all right. It's good. Um, people are in the shop working and that's what's important. So as always, comment, subscribe, and click notification bell to witness the madness. I hope everybody goes and checks out Dave at DD26 because I know he's going to say it at the end of this video. Speed, money, no breaks. I'm out. See you.